Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Ashley and this is Crafts with Ash. Today I'm bringing you a really cool interchangeable home sign made out of a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree. Now if you see my lips moving in this video but it's not matching what I'm saying, it's because this was originally a Facebook Live, but I thought I would take it and condense it down for everyone. The first thing you're going to need, of course, is a pizza pan. And like I said, I got that from the Dollar Tree. Then you're going to need some interchangeable shapes. Now you can make your shapes, you can buy them. I got mine from Hobby Lobby and from Dollar Tree. Then you're going to need some sticker letters or you could of course use your Cricut. So first what I did was I put some elephant gray paint all over the pizza pan. Now I realized the pizza pan was already silver but I didn't want this to look like a pizza pan. So I just went ahead and gave it two coats of this elephant gray paint. Next, I went ahead and I was going to work on my cutouts. Now, I originally made this sign for my cousin and she gave me specific colors that she wanted on each of her cutouts. So you're going to see me kind of redo some of them. Now the tree, the sun, and the flower all came from Hobby Lobby, but this pumpkin that I'm painting and the ghost that you'll see at the end came from cutout packages from the Dollar Tree. So what I did here was I just mixed some jack-o'-lantern apple barrel paint and some Waverly antique wax to make a kind of a burnt orange pumpkin color. Then I just went ahead and painted that on. Next I'm going to redo that sun. Now the sun is cute but she didn't want a smiley face on her sun. So I just took off the felt stickers with my heat gun and then I put a couple coats of this yellow apple barrel paint right on top. Now I'm going to make this look like a Christmas tree. So they sold, Hobby Lobby sold that tree just like that. So I took some lime green paint and I'm just kind of making stripes in the middle going down. And then I'm going to take all kinds of colors and just do polka dots to make it look like ornaments. Then I had a little gold star that I got in a pack from Hobby Lobby and I glued it right on the top to complete my look. Now instead of a yellow flower, my cousin wanted a pink flower. So I went ahead and took my heat gun and tried to pry off that little purple flower on top. Then I gave it a few coats of this magenta color from Apple Barrel. Then after it was all dry, I went ahead and hot glued that little purple piece right back on. Next, I took my letter stickers. Now, I got these from Hobby Lobby, and I absolutely love them because it looks like it was made from a Cricut. <laughs> and you could also use your Cricut, too. But I spelled out, welcome to our H-M-E. And obviously, I left a space in between the H and the M because that's where our little cutouts are going to go. So once you get everything lined up, you're going to take your Mod Podge, and we are going to put a nice coat of that on top of these letters to protect them from the sun if this is going on a front door, and also to keep them down and secure to the pizza pan. Thank you. 
Next, I went back to that pumpkin after it dried and now I'm going to give it a distressed look. So I took my Waverly Antique Wax, I dip my paintbrush in the lid, I dab it off on a paper towel, and then I just lightly give the top of the pumpkin and the edges a coat of this Waverly Antique Wax. This is called dry brushing. So I didn't have a ton of paint on my paintbrush because I dabbed it off on the paper towel. Then I went ahead and sanded the edges and the middle of it to give it more of a distressed look. Now I do repeat this process using black acrylic paint over the entire pan, but I forgot to do it while I was recording this live, so I went back at the end and, and did it over. Then I added a little twine bow to the stem to complete my pumpkin. Next, I took this little pack of foliage that I got from the Dollar Tree and I cut it into two different sections. Then I hot glued each section stem to stem at the top of the pizza pan. Then I took this burlap ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and I made myself a bow. All I did was make three loops and then added a tail at the end. I'm really not going to go into great detail on how I made this bow because I'm not the best bow maker. So I'll just let you play around with it and come up with your own bow. But this is just how I found it was easiest for me to do, but you can absolutely do it any other way. Then by using a generous amount of hot glue, I went ahead and glued down the greenery and the bow right on top. Next, I took this pack of magnets that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now they do sell them at the Dollar Tree, but since I was already at Hobby Lobby, I picked them up there. And I went ahead and glued a magnet on the back of each of my wood cutouts. Now to do this, I actually put the, magic, the magnet on the pizza pan first, right in the mid middle of the H and the M, and then lined up my uh, wood cutout just to make sure that I left myself enough room. Then I added one to every cutout. Now if I were not doing this live, I would actually recommend using E6000 to put your magnets on the back of your cutouts, that way they don't fall off. Finally, I grabbed some nautical rope and made myself a hanger. Just make sure that when you do this, you add a ton of hot glue or even E6000 so that way your nautical rope stays in place and so it doesn't fall off your door. And there you have it, an interchangeable welcome to our home sign to hang on your door. What do you think?
here is where you could see that I added the black acrylic paint to the pan to make it more of a farmhouse look. This pizza pan is absolutely awesome and it's great for all year round. Everyone loves it. <laughs> and I think my cousin is enjoying it too. And the possibilities are endless with this. In fact, she had just had a baby boy, so I found a It's a Boy cutout at Hobby Lobby and I gave that to her too to stick on her sign. Thank you so much for watching my video. I truly hope that you enjoyed this craft. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel so that way you can get updates on when I upload new videos. Then hop over to Facebook and give my Crafts with Ash page a like and a follow to catch me live and to see what I've been up to. Until next time, I'll craft with you soon. Bye!